Hey, it's Beth from Paris House Woolworks and um, North Atlantic Fiber Arts. And yesterday on my North Atlantic Fiber Arts Instagram page, I was asked to explain how I had done the hair on um, a piece I'm working on right now called Bring It Up Alive. And um, I replied that it was a very easy technique of chain stitching on the surface. So I have my phone set up over my Shutter Camp frame today, and I'm just going to ignore all these um, lines. We're not worried about that today. Um, but I'm going to show you both with wool strip and with yarn how a surface chain stitch is done, and it is super, super easy. So I've got my worm, we'll start with, um, with the yarn, and I'm just going to bring up a loop, and instead of pulling my, um, pulling my hook out of the loop, as you would with like a normal uh, hooking technique, I'm going to leave the hook right in there, I'm going to go into another hole, and I'm going to pull the next loop through, I'm going to do it again, and you can see what's happening is a chain is being formed on the surface of my rug hooking linen. And so that's the technique with, um, with yarn, but you can also do it with wool strips. So here I am, I've got my first loop up. I'm gonna go back down through, come up with the next one, go back down through, come up with the next one. And you can see it makes a really pretty, oops, dropped it. <laughs> it makes a really pretty chain effect on the top. Now I have used this in my own hooking for, um, vines, um, branches, things like that. I use it very commonly for in the piece that I got the question on, on my North Atlantic Fiber Arts Instagram. I have done um, the entire uh, hair on uh, the young woman in the, in the piece using this technique. In fact, I can probably show you that. I'm going to take the phone away from the, the Shetacamp frame and just bring it over here. And you can see that not only did I do her entire hair uh, this way, but I also in some places brought up like a gold novelty yarn just to mix it up a little. And you can do this um, either um, by, you know, switching out to a different yarn, or in the case of right here, you can see that I actually brought them up together and just let them kind of um, randomly um, come up as they would. So that's it. That's the technique. You can see how super easy it is. It's also very fun. Um, you know, you do keep a tail back here and then um, here, you know, you could just cut this and have a tail up here as well. And um, it's, it's easy and it's kind of beautiful. So that's the answer. And I hope this was helpful to you. I do teach a class periodically, both in venues and in uh, my own studio that uh, teaches this technique plus at least a dozen other um, what we call alternative techniques to the basic loop. So if you're interested in that, you can get in touch with me at um, either North Atlantic Fiber Arts at gmail.com or Paris House Woolworks. That's Paris with two R's. Paris House Woolworks at gmail.com. Have a great day.